Praise be Jesus Christ. Has the blood of the martyrs dried up? Has the fire of the Holy Spirit in the blood of the martyrs dried up? Does the church in Canada rejoice because ours is a witness that, like them, is one of taking the cross and will, being willing to lose their life, their reputation, their position, so that salvation that is won for us might be shared with others? Or is the word that we hear today from the lips of our Savior, those who are ashamed of me and of my words, of them the Son of Man will be ashamed. Does that strike us to the heart? Have we become a mediocre people, so comforted by the gifts of our parents and our grandparents and our great-great forebears in faith that any little threat to our absolute comfort leads us to moaning and weeping? Do we gather as a people who are prepared to be those robed in white who shout salvation belong to our God and who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb because we shout that in our lives today? Or are we a people who fuss around with long statements and procedures and cowardice before the challenge of witnessing to our faith to our children and who accompany with silence a country that is ashamed of the blood of the martyrs, ashamed of Jesus Christ. What is the judgment of our Lord when he comes in glory upon this culture? When he comes in his glory and the glory of the Father, will Jesus be ashamed? So comfortable are we that we have lost the ability to be thankful for the amazing gifts of this country that is drawing to it people from all over the world. Instead, we moan and complain that even in the, so that even in the midst of COVID times, when we live a life that the world would long to live materially, we have it better than anyone else in the world. And we still complain. There was no Serb provided for our forebears in the depressions. The government wasn't there to help those who broke the land to our First Nations people who lived at the whim of the natural flow to Saint Isaac Jog, Saint Jean Brebeuf, and the companions who came from the comfort, intellectual, and cultural of France to live in barbarous situations, not as we retell their stories as we retell their stories in the schools to oppress and deny a people, but to bring them Jesus with the language that they knew and the way that they did, accepting their suffering and sinfulness. No, we are ashamed and we go and rewrite our history so that we come out and feel justified in being mediocre. That is where we are called today. No more of this, sisters and brothers. The day of the Lord is coming 
For each of us in God's time, we should not worry about when it comes. We shouldn't be wasting our time listening to trying to figure out when it is going to happen. Wake up! This is the time now of martyrs. The blood of martyrs is not dead in the church. Because this is not the church that is the work of sinful men and women. There is no holiness in the church that comes from us. The church is of God. Any holiness that is in me or you or us or the saints is God's. And the blood of the martyrs is the blood of Jesus. And we drink of that. When we receive Holy Communion, it is poured into us. So stop being wimps and moaners and complainers. People, brothers and sisters, let us, you and I, be people of covenant and witness and love. And let it look like joy. Because the rest of the world looks pretty unhappy. Why? Because in their heart of hearts, they know that Jesus is ashamed of them. Ashamed of them. Ashamed of me. Ashamed of us, that we haven't been joyful. We, who drink the blood of Jesus, have not been witnesses. We've been wimps. There it is. Witnesses or wimps. Holy Spirit, flame our hearts with Jesus' love that we, with joy and confidence, might follow in the trek of our founders whose blood gave us faith so that our blood, our shame, our cross might be the blood that washes us clean so that we stand not only alone, but with all those that we have brought the good news by our witness, white martyrs before the throne of the Lamb, praising and singing with all of them, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever.